If you create online courses or memberships, you'll be happy to learn that there's yet another way to sell your products. Thrive Automator now integrates with StudioCart. StudioCart is a shopping cart plugin for WordPress that will let you sell online courses, memberships, and more. In this video, you'll learn how to set up that integration and we'll talk about some ways you can do even more with your marketing using Thrive Automator. Hi, I'm Christine with Thrive Themes. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, here's your friendly reminder to do so. And if you ring the bell, you'll be notified when we publish new videos. So Studio Cart is a shopping cart plugin for WordPress, which you can use to sell online courses, memberships, and more. Thrive Automator is our plugin for connecting your favorite tools and plugins and creating smart automations. So now that Studio Cart integrates with Thrive Automator, you can now sell your Thrive Apprentice products using Studio Cart, and then you can trigger things like giving access to a Thrive Apprentice product, adding a new user in your email service, and starting a Thrive Ultimatum campaign. Okay, so to get us started, let me show you what you can do with the Studio Cart and Thrive Automator integration. Now, in order to set all of this up, you'll need to prepare a few things beforehand. You'll need to have created a product in Thrive Apprentice. You'll also need to sign up for and install Studio Cart. You'll also need to install the Thrive Automator add-on for Studio Cart, and you'll need to install Thrive Automator. And then if you want to do things like add the user to your email service, you'll need to integrate your email service with Thrive. And also if you want to trigger a Thrive Ultimatum campaign, you'll need to create your Thrive Ultimatum campaign. If you need any help with any of those things, we do have lots of helpful videos and articles, which we will link below. All right, so let's dive in. So to start us off, I've got a sales page here for a Thrive Apprentice course. This sales page was created in Thrive Architect. When someone decides to purchase the course, they're then taken to a checkout page. Now this checkout page was created in Thrive Architect, but the form comes from Studio Cart. All of your settings for receiving payment are going to be done in Studio Cart. After someone inputs their information, then they're going to be taken to a thank you page. This page was also built using Thrive Architect, and then Thrive Automator will grant access to the Thrive Apprentice course. Now, once you get your customer information into Thrive Automator, there's a whole lot more you can do. And you can actually do these things no matter what cart tool you're using, but I'd like to mention them here for people who are new to Thrive Automator and the Thrive ecosystem. So for example, after someone makes a purchase, you can add them to your email list. You can tag them as a customer, and that way you can easily send follow-up emails later. And you can also do things like trigger a Thrive Ultimatum campaign. Now, Thrive Ultimatum is our tool for creating scarcity-driven campaigns. So you can put countdown timers on your sales pages, and you can also put them in ribbons promoting a product that display either at the top or the bottom of your website. And you can display ribbons with countdown timers on your course pages. So here's what we're going to be setting up in this example. Starting with the sales page, let's say that you have a low cost online course. When someone buys the course, that will trigger a number of things. They'll be added to our email list, they'll be tagged as a customer, and when they start viewing the course that they just purchased, they will see an exclusive limited time offer for another product. So this might be a really great marketing funnel to use if you have a low cost introductory course that can naturally lead into a higher ticket, more in-depth course later. So after you install Studio Cart, Thrive Automator, and after you create your Thrive Apprentice product, then you can create a product in Studio Cart. Just go to Studio Cart, then go to Products, and click Add New Product. Let's give this product a name and also be sure to set up a payment plan. So let's go to payment plans. Let's go to add new. You'll need to create a plan ID. Let's also go ahead and create an option label and let's assign a price. Now there's lots of other options to explore. I'll let you explore those on your own. For now, this is all we need to proceed. So let's go ahead and publish this product. All right, so here is our new product. Now in the next step, we will be creating a checkout page. To place a checkout form for this specific product on a page, we're going to need this short code right here. So I'll go ahead and copy this and then we'll move on. Next, we'll need to create a checkout page. So let's go to pages and add new. Let's give this page a name. 
and let's launch Thrive Architect. Now, if you've used a Thrive Architect pre-built landing page for your sales page, you can create a checkout page that matches. So let's select pre-built landing page. And as you can see, there are several different landing page sets to choose from. For my particular sales page, I used the hydrogen landing page set. So let's go ahead and use the hydrogen set again. Now I would like to create a simple checkout page that uses blocks that match the hydrogen set. So to do that, I will create a blank page from the hydrogen set. Now the main focus of this page is going to be the checkout form. So let's do that first. I want the checkout form to be on the left and on the right, I want to have a guarantee box. So let's go ahead and let's add some columns to our page. Let's use the two thirds, one third layout. And now to paste in the checkout form, there's two different ways to do it. You can either use the text element or the WordPress content element. Let's go ahead and use the WordPress text element. So I'll go to add element and let's click and drag the text element into place. And I'll simply paste in the short code. Now you won't see anything other than the short code appear here, but when we go ahead and preview the page later, we will see the order form. In fact, if you're curious, let's go ahead and save our work now and let's preview the page. So as you can see, here is our order form, but we do need to build out the rest of the page. So let's keep working. Now let's go ahead and turn on the header for this page. Let's go to page settings and I'll click the eye icon so that we can see the header. But this header is coming from Thrive Theme Builder and I actually just want a really simple one. So let's go ahead and change this header. Let's go ahead and create a new header. Now, since the header I'm going to be creating is relatively simple, I can simply start with a blank header. Here it is. And I'll click choose header and I'll give this a name. All right, so now I can go ahead and edit this header. I'll go ahead and add my logo to this header by going to add element. And let's go ahead and click and drag the logo element into place. Now I actually want this logo to be centered. So let's go to layout and position and I'll change the alignment to center. Now that I'm done with the header, let's go ahead and click done to get out of the header. Next, let's add a guarantee in the right hand column. For that, I'm going to use the guarantee box element. So I'll go to add element and I'll search for guarantee box and I'll simply click and drag that element into place. As you can see, there are several different designs to choose from. Let's go ahead and use this one. Next, let's add some testimonials at the bottom of the page. For that, we're going to use a block. So let's simply click the blue plus sign to add a block. And let's use the list on the left to look at the testimonial blocks. And I like the look of this one. All right, so from here, you can edit anything on the page that was created using Thrive Architect. So you can change fonts, colors, borders, backgrounds, and more for the guarantee box, as well as the testimonial block. Simply click on an element, use the breadcrumbs at the top of the page to make sure that you have selected the intended element, and then you can use the options on the left. I'll let you make those customizations on your own. Next, let's create a thank you page. This is the page that will be displayed after someone makes a purchase. So let's go to pages and add new. Let's give it a name. And let's launch Thrive Architect. Again, let's select a pre-built landing page. And let's select the same landing page set as last time, which is hydrogen. Now, as you can see, Hydrogen does have a variety of different templates. Let's use the thank you page template. And now we can customize this template to our needs. Now, this thank you page was originally intended for delivering a lead magnet, but we can adapt it for our online course. So you can have this button take people to anywhere you like. I'll go ahead and have this link take people to my course, which I've already set up in Thrive Apprentice. So from the courses tab in Thrive Apprentice, simply go to the course that you are selling and here is your course URL. You can simply click the button on the right to copy that URL. And then let's hop back over to our thank you page and let's click on this button. Make sure that button is highlighted in the breadcrumbs. Then in the main options tab, go down to the target URL and simply paste in the URL. All right, so from here, you can customize the rest of this page. You can change the headline, the fonts, colors, images, 
backgrounds, and more. You can also tell people what to expect now that they've purchased your product. So you can say, check your email for your receipt, as well as your login information. And it might be helpful to include some contact information in case people have trouble accessing your product. Next, you'll need to update your Studio Cart product so that Studio Cart knows which thank you page to display after someone purchases your product. So here is our product in Studio Cart. Let's go and edit this product. Then on the left, let's go to confirmations. And under confirmation type, let's change this to display page. And let's go ahead and select our thank you page. Be sure to click the update button, and then we can move on to the next step. All right, so now that our product and our checkout page are all set up, we can set up Thrive Automator to grant access to our product when someone makes a purchase. So I'm here in Thrive Automator. Let's go ahead and create an automation. And let's start by selecting a trigger. Now, after you install the Thrive Automator add-on for Studio Cart, then you should see this Studio Cart option appear here. So let's go ahead and select Studio Cart. And our trigger is going to be Order Created. Now, we don't want this to always trigger because we only want it to trigger when someone buys a specific product. And so we'll specify that by specifying the product ID. Okay, so let's select product ID. Now, getting the product ID is really easy. So let's go back to our list of Studio Cart products. And the product ID is right here inside of the short code. So this one is 1353. Let's hop back over to Thrive Automator and let's input 1353 for the product ID. And let's click Done. Now the next step is granting access to our course. So let's click the plus sign to add an action. And let's go to Apprentice. Let's select Grant Access to Product. And let's select our product. And that's it. It's really quite easy. Now, if this is all you want to do, then you can go ahead and make this automation active, and then you can go ahead and click Save and Publish. But if you want to really take advantage of the power that Thrive Automator offers, then you can do even more. So let's go ahead and add a new customer to our email list. Let's go ahead and add another action. Let's go to Email, and let's add the user in our autoresponder. Once you integrate your email service with Thrive, it will show up in this list. Right now we are using MailChimp. Now, if you have multiple lists on your account, you can choose your list. You can choose from single or double opt-in. For now, I'll choose single. And let's also tag the user so that we can easily send follow-up emails later. And then click Done. All right, so here is our current workflow. Now, if you want to take things up a notch, you can also trigger a Thrive Ultimatum campaign, offering a limited time deal on a related product. So when people access the course they just purchased, they will see a ribbon at the top of the page saying, don't miss this offer, get the ultimate list building course for a discounted price. And it will also display a countdown timer to urge people to purchase. So to trigger a Thrive Ultimatum campaign, it's super easy to do. Of course, you will need to create your Thrive Ultimatum campaign first. And then here in Thrive Automator, you can simply add a new action. Let's select Ultimatum and then select Start an Ultimatum campaign. Then you can go ahead and choose your campaign. And that's it. Now, there are a couple of settings within your Thrive Ultimatum campaign that you will need to specify in order to display your ribbon on your Thrive Apprentice course pages. We do have a video that shows how to do that, which we will link below. All right, so this is our complete Thrive Automator workflow. Again, these last two steps are optional. You don't have to do them. You can also explore the other options in Thrive Automator to create a business boosting marketing funnel of your own. All right, so that's how to use Studio Cart with Thrive Automator. Let us know down in the comments if you'll be using this integration and what other tools you would like to use with Thrive Automator. You can get Thrive Automator, Thrive Apprentice, and the rest of our tools when you purchase Thrive Suite. Click the link in the description to learn more. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.